running in my cut down shoes today. It's about 7.15 a.m. Sunday 23rd. Let's see if we can go longer. I got it. <laughs> well, it's not hot now, but it, it's going to be, it's going to be hot. It's always slightly intimidating just going on those first steps, knowing that you're going to be running for the next three hours. So here we go. Hello. Wildlife update. This crow has apparently killed one of the ground squirrels and well, no one's very happy about it. Drama on the path. Let's see what the crow's up to. Oh, poor little guy. Well, got to get dinner. Wow, super calm today. Geese update. It's the end of the path. You start to come back into the city at mile 11. I'm turning around now, but next week we could probably manage a little detour into Costco, see what's in there, liquor cabinet. <laughs> I'll bring my card. Dragon boat practice. Okay. Uh, mile 15. So 21 miles in three hours, one minute. Roughly. Hey, VO2 is at 154. Uh, 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 yeah, it's hotter today. Uh, were you uh, Were you able to hold your pace though? Or did no, it drop off? It's tough. 20 miles though. Are you? I did 21. Deep is off already. I better get started as well then. Go. Oh, ow. Mm. My knee's a bit sore. Normally I feel quite good after a few laps. But I feel totally dead. No. I yeah. Did. My legs feel like lead. Okay. What about you? I must ask maybe that is. Oh, I just feel half asleep. Okay, we're gonna do our strides. Then I'm going to put the camera away and we'll check back later, see how many intervals that we get through. Okay, off you go, my knees. <coughs> uh, Post-workout cough, quite common. Uh, that felt pretty rough. First time we'd done the track in the morning, it was deeper, still running. Uh, so it did feel a bit like I'd woken up in the middle of the night to do this workout, so just a bit foggy. And but you know the numbers were good. Every time I looked at the numbers, they were they were great. And in the end, it was 10 miles at 7:37 pace, even though the track's 5% optimistic. So numbers are good. Felt rough. Mind was wandering. Definitely in one lap, I was imagining running the Isla Marathon. I sort of came back to not uh, daydreaming. I couldn't remember where I was or what time it was on the track. <laughs> I was a bit confused, but good workout. Looks like Deepa's just at the end of hers. Do nine. Do that, I have to come up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy because I said do one less than she was planning. That's all right, nine reps today, 10 reps next week. Oh, I can feel it in my knee a little bit. The first half of the first is good for them. I think the first half of 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 the first half the first half of the first half of the first half 
sometimes you have good days when you feel tired. Geese, out the way, out the way. Don't panic. Stay there, stay there. Average for the first half is 8.06. Let's see if I can bring it down on the way back. to go no cutting struggle on that last one 11 miles <coughs> in one hour 26 and average heart rate was 150 which is good I meant I came back quite a bit faster than I went out but I'm noticing my upper range heart rate is not as high as it used to be and it's one of the things of getting older after about age 45 uh, your your peak rev limit drops you know a beat or two per year so I'm gonna have to recalibrate my marathon predictions I think you look springy my best ever fantastic really fantastic oh gosh so good okay mm. 9.28 I think you were running 10 minute pace last week so that's that's a lot better mm. hey bonus I got uh, 55 VO2 so things are improving. Well, that was a pretty great week, mostly because of the uh, the amount of work we were able to get done and everything going at a sort of higher pace. So we we both really we were we were green across the board, as you can see. So everything was improving. We both added some miles. We both increased our average pace for those miles, and our heart rates were either you know the same or slightly better so that meant we ran faster for more miles at the same heart rate that meant less heartbeats in a mile so big improvements there and uh, the watch reflected that as well with the vo2 increases uh, well, we didn't really lose any weight this week <laughs> sometimes when you run faster you just feel like eating more so um no weight loss, but you know I'll take speed gains over weight loss any day. Now you could argue that eating a bit more gave us a bit more energy, so uh, I'll have to wait and see. But overall, marathon predictions are both improving, and I did tweak mine slightly to lower my upper heart rate range, which means uh, technically I have a bit more capacity, a bit less capacity, because uh, I was just noticing that my heart rate wasn't really going as high as it normally does like last year but we'll keep an eye on that marathon prediction is coming down but you know it's still pretty in intimidating uh thinking about the effort a hard effort for 26 miles 